This is a 1,800 horsepower Hennessy Venom F5. And this is a 1,600 horsepower Koenigsegg Yesco. Both of these are the fastest cars in Forza Horizon 5 for different reasons, and today we're going to find out why and see how fast we can make them go. Spoiler, very, very fast. Welcome to Forza Horizon 5, I'm Don Juan Song, and today we're using every possible method we can within the game to find out just how fast the Hennessy Venom F5 and Koenigsegg Yesco can go. Back in July, I made two videos showing you how to drive a Koenigsegg at 400 miles an hour. Two days after that video was made, Forza Horizon 5 had a massive update and fixed the Yesco's top speed. That means everyone trying to replicate my video was unable to drive at 400 miles an hour, and I was left with hundreds of comments going, this video is fake. Bruh, bruh, bruh. Except you, Marco Zunino. I like you. Friends! But we're back, and today we're using every possible method to see how fast they can now go, despite the Koenigsegg being nerfed. And this brought up some pretty interesting things about how the top speed can now be achieved. And we're gonna begin with Hot Wheels. The speed limit for every car in the game has been changed for when you're driving in Hot Wheels. And when I say Hot Wheels, I only mean when you're driving on the track. The track itself has a limiter for every car, and I really wanted to put this to the test. No matter what car I picked, no matter what tyres or engine I used, every car tops out at 299 miles an hour. Except the Hennessy Venom F5. The Venom F5 is the only car in the game that can naturally drive over 300 miles an hour, making it the fastest car in the game, but only in Hot Wheels. However, using the boost tunnels, the Koenigsegg Yesco can achieve 300 miles an hour, but then it quickly drops down to the limit of speed of 299. Even using double speed in Event Lab, you still top out at 299. The limiter really works, and the Hennessy Venom is definitely the notorious king of Hot Wheels. But what about the main map? How far can we manipulate the game and how fast can we go? To begin with, we're using stock cars. A stock Koenigsegg can only reach 286 miles an hour. That's 20 miles an hour slower after it got nerfed. The Hennessy Venom F5, however, can reach 305. That's 20 miles an hour faster than the Koenigsegg. Now, keeping the cars stock, I wanted to add gravity and speed in Event Lab to see how much of a difference can be made. I started with 0.8 gravity and full power. Then I tried 2.0 gravity and full power. After, I applied upgrades and tested it in free roam. Pretty much every Hennessy tune available, no matter what upgrades or tuning you create, doesn't make it much faster. 307 to 309 seems to be the limit. Now 0.8 gravity didn't really have much of an effect on my tuned Venom F5, and I only reached 314 miles an hour. Even with my settings on 2.0 gravity, it only went 2 miles an hour faster. The Koenigsegg Yesco, however, jumped up massively, reaching over 330. After testing what speed could be achieved on the highway using both Free Roam and Event Lab, I wanted to take it a step further. So being absolutely determined to go as fast as I can, I made a downhill Hot Wheels ramp with a couple boost pads. But unfortunately, just like in Hot Wheels, the Koenigsegg Yesco is limited to 299 miles an hour, confirming it's not the DLC with a limiter, it's the track you drive on. So I decided to go full on idiot mode and create the ultimate speed ramp. I made a ramp that's made of 242 boost pads linked together, because 241 obviously wasn't enough, and 243 is too many. Obviously. And because we're not driving on a Hot Wheels track, we no longer have a limiter. So I decided to test gravity and power settings in Event Lab again, and things started to get interesting.
The Koenigsegg Jesko is still the king, reaching 372 miles an hour. And as it stands, this is the best way to achieve that type of speed. But I still wasn't happy. I wanted to hit over 400 again, or at least beat what I already had, despite the car being nerfed. And then I stumbled across something different. Mr. Can8911 has created an event called Speed Warp Tunnel, and it does exactly what you think it does. He's also shared a tune for the event because you need a very specific tune in order to get it working. I will show you how to make the tune yourself in a moment, but I have to mention right now, prepare yourself and let this be an epilepsy warning. Seriously. <laughs> Seven hundred and twenty kilometers per hour is four hundred and forty seven miles an hour. And although this method makes you want to vomit, this is now the best way to do it. Also, the tires get so hot they become hotter than the surface of the sun. The more you know. I've been Donjo One Song, I truly hope you enjoyed my video. I'll be making much more content from now on and I can't wait to share it with you. I've also started streaming again, so please feel free to follow me on Twitch. Until next time, take care, stay safe. Bye-bye.